So get a seat, everyone. Let's get to the root of the matter on the program today. Well, what is uh, happening to the APC at the moment? The Christ is rocking the party in the post primaries era. The list of the candidates that will run for election at all levels has been submitted to INEC. And so anybody whose name is not on that list may just be as good as not going to contest for the election. That is the uh, implication of that. Well, there is an appeals committee headed by a former governor of Edo State, Professor Osumbo. How is the committee able to fix the problems generated by the crisis of the primaries? Let's talk, uh, let's talk to Professor Osumbo himself and uh, let's find out what all this means. He joins us from our Buja studio. Thank you so much, Professor Osumbo, for your time on the program today. Let's begin by asking you, there are some allegations that there were impositions, there were automatic tickets given to some members of the party. What did you discover at your appeals committee sitting? Well, thank you. Uh, the question is what we found with respect to the issue of automatic ticket. Uh, that was not before us, actually. Uh, my own uh, knowledge is that uh, where there was only one aspirant cleared for the primaries, then it was that candidate or that aspirant that was affirmed in the course of the primaries. So if there was any discussions, any talk about automatic ticket, uh, that was not really before us. That was a matter of policy of the political party, of the party. And if that was to be implemented, it would have been implemented at the level of the primaries. Uh, we came in after the primaries had been conducted. So the issue of automatic ticket by itself was not really a matter for us to um, look into and to decide upon. All right. Um, as it stands right now, uh, some of the issues that uh, came up in the case of um, Imo State, in the case of Zamfara State, in the case of Ogun State, can you tell us that the names that you resolved in your peace committee were the names that went to INEC? Well, let me make uh, my position on this very clear. The, I am not the spokesperson of my party, the APC. The APC has a spokesperson, and I believe it is only fair and proper uh, that he should be the one to answer these questions as to what names have been sent to INEC and what names have not been sent to INEC. That really is beyond me. My own assignment was, as chairman of the National Appeals Committee, to listen to the appeals, to invite persons that we thought required to be present uh, before us to provide further information on their appeals. And having concluded the exercise, we submitted our report to the party and uh, at this point, I would say that we are functus official, as lawyers will put it. In other words, our assignment has been concluded and our pass over this matter has ended. I am not the official spokesperson of the APC, and I will crave your understanding that uh, I may not be able to uh, give any specific details uh, as to what we found. I am prepared to speak in, in general terms. So I will Let's talk about. Uh, that, uh, I, will, I, I, will, I have some. Uh, I have some detailed, specific questions for you. But because uh, of your stance on this matter, I'll probably go into some uh, general ones uh, as you have uh, asked us. Uh, I wish that uh, Madam Nuru Rubadu, uh, one of the aspirants in Adama State, who uh, was supposed to join us on the program, I wish is able to tonight to also share some of his grievances. But tell us, Professor Osumbo, from some of the issues generated, you are able, I understand, to sit with um, agreed members of the party based on the primaries from Zamfara State, Ogun State, uh, perhaps in River State. With all of these ones, 
how did you resolve or what were uh, the outcome of your resolution uh, on these uh, three cases, Ogun, Zamfara, and Riverside, for example? <laughs> Again, we come to the issue of specifics, uh, which I'm not able to go into. Uh, but I can say in general terms that what we did was to look at the petitions that were referred to us and uh, where, for instance, the appellant or the petitioner was alleging that there were no primaries conducted in his constituency and uh, demanding that fresh primaries be conducted. And this petition was dated after the 7th of October. Uh, it was clear that that was an appeal that could not be upheld. Uh, because, as we all know, 7th of October was the deadline for the conduct of primaries. So if there was somebody who put in a petition, an appeal dated 8th of October, asking that fresh primaries be conducted, it wasn't necessary to invite such a person because uh, the prayer that he thought was one that was impracticable. Uh, we tried to do justice to the appellants, but also mindful of the interest of the party. So it was a very challenging assignment. We had the entire country as our constituency, as the source of uh, these petitions, uh, and we had to conclude the exercise within a very short time right. frame. Let, let me pause uh, so you for a moment, Professor Sumba, because we need to take uh, this break. But when we come back, there is one very critical question I know a lot of uh, good members of the APC would like me to ask you, Professor Osumba, tonight, which I, I, I wish uh, uh, someone like Malam Nuru Rebadu is able to ask you tonight on the program. But we'll do that when we return from this break, everyone. Plus, the crisis over the controversies of whether or not Equera Madu, Deputy Senate, is leaving the PDP. We'll answer those questions after now, everyone. Join us again.